Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Pre-Algebra Chapter 8, Section 4. In this book, we're talking about graphing lines, graphing equations, different ways to do that. And now we're going to talk about the slope of the line. So here I have drawn this black line. And we know the word slope in common everyday English. If I say that hill has a steep slope, you know it's going to be a little harder to climb than one that I say that hill does not have a steep slope. For example, here in Atlanta we have Stone Mountain. The side of it that's got a carving, too steep, steep to climb. People die falling off of it. The back side of the mountain can be done. I had a season's pass last year and we would go hike up the back of it all the time. A little tough, but absolutely doable. Um, so the slope is how steep a line is. Now, we have a, we're going to have a mathematical formula for slope. What do you think the symbol for slope is going to be? Maybe an S or an SL? Nope. It is the letter M. So I always joke and say, it's for mope. Because, you know, why in the world is slope M? We have no idea. None. All right. So how it works is the formula for slope is said to be rise over run. <laughs> so here I have a little football player, and he runs out this way, horizontally on the football field. His fan sits in the bleachers. Have you ever heard bleachers called risers? Maybe if you sang in a choir and you had to stand on the risers, they were like little steps going up, you could sit on the risers too. So the risers, the seats, rise up. So the formula for slope is you do the, the rise of the line divided by the run of the line. What do I mean by that? My line, here's two points on it. From this point to that point, it went over three. It ran over th three. <clears throat> and from this point to that point, it rose up four. The horizontal component was three. The vertical component was four. So um, I could calculate my slope from that. Another way to write this formula is triangle Y over triangle X. That triangle isn't actually a triangle. It's a Greek letter. How cool is that? You know you're getting to fancy math when you learn a Greek letter. It's delta. It looks like a triangle. It comes from the Nile River Delta. But in science and math, it means change or difference. So it's the change in Y over the change in X. My Y changed by 4 and my X changed by 3. So for this line, the slope is equal to 4 divided by 3. That's its slope. That's its up. That's its over. It went over 3, up 4, and that's the slope. Now, you don't have to graph it to get the slope. You can use this equation. The change in rise is y2 minus y1. The change in run, or the change in x, is x2 minus x1. Well, how do you know which ones are the ones and which ones are the twos? The key are the x's. You look at the x's, and whichever is less, it's the ones. And the one, if x is 1, its y partner has to also be 1. So if those are the 1's, these are the 2's. Now we can put it into this formula. I go and I find y2 and I write it down. It's 6. Then I write my minus sign and then I go find y1, which is 2. Draw by, divide by, go find x2, which is 4. Draw the minus sign, go find x1, which is 1. And then I do the math. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. And that's what the slope equals. Now, this is a little hard. It's probably the hardest thing you are going to do in pre-algebra all year. It's something I didn't do till Algebra 1, but they've moved it back, and it is definitely part of pre-algebra now. How you're going to get good at it is just practicing. Okay, so another thing about slope is if the line's going up, it's said to be a positive slope. And I look at just this and pretend like it's the stock market. If the stock market's going up, everybody thinks that's positive. Look at this one. The stock market's going down, 
it's negative. So if it goes downhill, it's negative. Uphill, it's positive. If it's totally flat, like Florida, then it has zero slope. And if it goes straight up and down, it is said to have an undefined slope. And if you, uh, and if you put this slope in your calculator, so your uh, x's don't change at all, your y's change a lot. Say our two points are there and there. And our y's change too, but our x's didn't just change any. If you put this in your calculator, 2 divided by 0, it says error. So you know it's undefined, an impossible slope. Now, can you graph this line, x equals 3? Yeah, it's a line, but it does not have a defined slope. It's error, and it has to do with you are not allowed to divide by 0 in math. It's one of our two biggest rules because it violates the law of science, the conservation of mass and energy. Let me tell you what I mean. I have a cake here, and I tell you to make it zero pieces. You can't do it, because even if you left it alone, it's one piece. For it to become zero pieces, the atoms themselves would have to be destroyed, and they cannot be. Matter nor energy cannot be created or destroyed ever since creation. All right, that's a big law in science. All right, so let's try some of these problems. So what does the slope equal? So step one, write down x, y, x, y. Step two, which is less. One is less than four. These are our ones. Those are our twos. Step three, we are going to fill in our formula. And I, I didn't leave a lot of room, so I'm going to leave my formula right here. So I'm, I go find y2, and I write it down. Then I write the subtract symbol. Always write your subtract symbol before you go and find y1, because if it's negative, you'll drop it and get the wrong answer. Now go find y1, it's 2. Draw your dividing line. Go find x2, it's 4. Write down your subtraction. Go find x1. Do the math. 5 minus 2 is 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Ta da If you can divide, you divide. Okay, let's try this one. Step 1, write x, y, x, y. Step 2, which is less. 0 is less than 3. These are my 1s. These are my 2s. Step, whatever we are on, 3. Go find y2. It's negative 3. Draw your subtract sign. Go find y1. It's 1. Draw the fraction bar. Go find x2. It's 3. Draw your subtract. Go find x1. It's 0. Do the math. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 minus 0 is 3. Slope equals 2 thirds. Whoop, whoop, whoop. More fun with sound effects. Let's do this one. Step 1. Write your x's and y's. Step two, which is less? One is less than four. Those are the ones. Those are the twos. Next step, go find y2 and write it down. Write your minus. Write y1. Draw your fraction bar. Go find x2. Draw minus. Go find x1. Do the math. Three minus three is zero. Four minus one is three. Zero divided by three, you can do. Remember the big rule you cannot have zero in the denominator. So zero divided by three is zero. My slope is zero. Let's try this one. Write down x and y, x and y. Which one is less? They're the same. If you get here and these are the same, you know slope is undefined. You're going to end up dividing by zero because two equals zero, and that's not allowed. All right, so you're, oh, last thing. If you have two different lines, you can think of them as the slope as a rate of change. If we look at it just in the positive quadrant, and we have these two lines, which one has the greater range of change? The one with the sl steeper slope. So my green line has a greater change my red line has a lesser change. So that if you, sometimes you're asked which one is like say this is my son Joshua running 
his speed and that's me running the slow speed but hey still running all right math is great come back and i promise i think this is the hardest thing you'll do all year so just think it gets easier from here math is great